I changed my perspectives and I jumped and I jumped and I, I'm starting to feel the parachute open a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm still doing this. I'm still banging around, but I jumped because I continue to look at things differently. I continue to see things differently. Like we, even when I'm struggling, like this week has been tough for me. It's been mentally tough. It's been physically tough. It's just been, uh. but when I sit there and I shift my perspective to gratitude, just that one little shift. That's what I say to people is like, what are you focusing on? If you're focusing on what it is that you don't have, you're going to get more of it. If you want to focus on the things that you want, you need to go after it like you said. So that's my Absolutely. answer. What about you, Pam? What would you say? That's so powerful. Yeah, I really love that. And I, yeah, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to really add to that. I don't, I mean, you just kind of summed it up so well. I, I don't know. But, you know, one of the things that I feel like is really important too is to realize that some of these things are energetic in our body. There may be some things that we're just not going to get to on the mental level. And we might just need to move some energy, you know, and, and it can be so quick and simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. And I think there, you know, this goes back to the lack of education, the lack of education around the fact that our bodies are these incredible, incredible, like data, data storing machines, right? And all this information is, is inside of us and we just have to access it and know what to do with it. And so once we start to do that, then we realize that we really do have so much more potential contained, I mean, almost even physically, but definitely spiritually within our bodies. And I think that's a huge element of it too. You know, that's why yoga has been so crazy in my life because when you start understanding like, oh my God, I can shift the way that I feel based on how I practice yoga. Wait, what? So I can determine where my energy is stuck in my body just by meditating and figuring out where am I feeling a little. And this is, this is the problem that we're having right now that most people can't even wrap their heads around. So we have seven chakras. The bottom three chakras are our earthly, animalistic, very primal chakras. Our heart chakra, which is the fourth, is our human chakra. It's where we should.